How far we've come. How far we've come. The struggle, the steps, the journey, the days, the months, and the miles. How far we've come to get to a place we've been to so many times before. For one night only, a final battle. Evil. The whole Ring of Honor world's been clamoring for Kevin Steen to have another match in Ring of Honor. And on December 23rd, they get their wish. And quite frankly, I get my wish too, because I'm dying for Kevin Steen to fight too. I'm dying to see him fight Steve Carino. The old Steve Carino, the evil Steve Carino. And I don't just get a front row seat. No, 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 that's not good enough. I get the closest seat in the house. I get to be the referee. And after all, all the stuff, all the problems that you've caused, Kevin Steen, what do you think I will do? What do you think I will be capable of come December 23rd when I referee that match? Maybe right down the middle, maybe not. What do you think? What are the lengths I would go to? Where do I stop? Where would I draw the line? Hey, Kevin, where would you draw the line if you were me? Where would anybody draw the line if they were in my position? Think about it, ponder it. But the only way to know what I'm gonna do is to be there and see it. Everything that I've worked for this year, every bump, every bruise, every boo, every cheer, every untrusting glance in the locker room, everything that I have done this year leads me to this moment. December 23rd, I finally reached salvation. Now, Kevin, I'm not gonna yell. I'm not gonna scream. I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna beat you up. I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna kill. What I'm gonna say is that on December 23rd, you are gonna get the Steve Carino that you met seven years ago. You're gonna get the Steve Carino that taught you what evil was all about. You see, I'm 38 years old, Kevin. I don't got much time left. And in that time, I want to be a role model for the guys in the locker room. I wanna be looked upon by the fans as someone that really made their mark in professional wrestling. Not the evil guy. Everything that you know about being evil, I taught you, but I didn't teach you everything. <laughs> Sounds like a cliche, Kevin. On December 23rd, I'm gonna prove to you that Steve Carino still has a little fight left in him. You've seen it. The locker room finally believes, the fans finally believe, but Kevin, I'm gonna make you believe. When I pin your shoulders to the mat, or I make you submit, or you can't continue, I don't want to shake your hand. I want you to wake up from this nightmare that you are in. I want you to wake up from this nightmare that you have created. I saw the light. On December 23rd, I want you to see the light. In fact, you're going to see all the lights because my name is Steve Carino. For one more night, See you in New York, Kevin. I'll be ready. Here it is. Christmas. The most wonderful time of the year. And the final battle, it might turn into the nightmare before Christmas for the Bravado Brothers. Ring of Honor's put us on notice. So there's no room for losers. And that's exactly what we've been lately. We haven't won a match on television. We haven't won a match on pay-per-view. We're gonna be unemployed, Harlem. We're not gonna be able to buy grandma presents. Instead of sitting by the fireplace at Christmas, we're gonna be on the street setting around barrels on fire. Instead of volunteering at the soup kitchen, we're gonna be eating at the soup kitchen. This is very good. This is, this is good. 
final battle, it's a five-team gauntlet. And we've lost to every one of these teams. We've lost to Priest and Cedric. We've lost to the All Night Express. We've lost to the Young Bucks. We've lost to Future Shot. But you're looking at it all wrong. Think about the things that we've done right this year. You remember in January, we said 2011 was the year of the bravados. And it still can be. Because this is final battle. This is the show that everybody remembers. Live on internet pay-per-view. And so what we're wrestling four other teams. You, look at me. We can beat Caprice and Cedric. You remember in Greensboro? This close to beating the All Night Express. And we can do that again. Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly, we beat them. I think three times. And the Young Bucks, we owe them one. They don't get away without shaking our hand. Grandma told us that. Now think about this. The Ring of Honor World Tag Team title shot is on the line. We can take that. We can ride this wave of momentum, challenge whoever the, the champions may be. Who knows by next year? But we can beat them. And we're going to make this happen. Because the final battle, New York City, guess what? The Bravado bandwagon is going to be in the house. No matter, no matter what, no matter if the odds are stacked against us, the deck stacks against us, it doesn't matter because the Bravado bandwagon is going to be there and they're not going to let us lose. And Grandma's not going to let us lose because it's like she always said. You, uh, what? I don't think Grandma can hear for some reason. Final battle. Jay Lito, Mike Bennett. You go down, amigos. TV title, come back home. Ole! December 23rd at Final Battle. TJ Perkins, you're gonna get an opportunity of a lifetime. Cause you're going one on one with Unbreakable Michael Elegant. And that night you get to show the entire wrestling world what you're made of. Don't let that opportunity pass you by, because you get one shot. There could have never been a David without a Goliath. And on December 23rd, you get to show the entire, the entire wrestling world. You get to show Ring of Honor, the major league of professional wrestling, what TJ Perkins is all about. That's a once in a lifetime opportunity. That's a dream. But TJ, between me and you, we know the reality. And your dream is gonna get crushed. <laughs> See, Final Battle is Ring of Honor's biggest show of the year. This is my first time at Final Battle. And I'm gonna do exactly what I've done the entire year of 2011. And that's proof that Michael Elgin is unbreakable. TJ, Truth Martini talked about our opportunities. See, they say when opportunity knocks, you better answer. TJ, I'm not knocking, I'm coming straight through. Cause final battle, will be the time I show the world it's only up from here. Now, they say God created all men equal. They were wrong. <laughs> yeah, 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 once oh, again, baby. the All Night Express, we find ourselves on the big stage. Final battle 2011. Bright lights, baby. New York City. Everybody wants their final battle home, don't they, Red? Yeah. See, five teams, elimination gauntlet for the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions. Belts that everybody already knows belongs to the All Night Express. Who we got? We got Future Shot. Hey, you also saw what we did in the final battle last year? Beat them last year. Yeah. We got Caprice and Cedric. Who? I don't know, that might be a tight one. Uh, we got the Bravados. Oh, you can bring your grandma too and tell her to bring some nice freshly baked cookies. Hey, grandma, bring some loot too. And we got the Young Bucks. Oh, the Young Bucks. The Young Bucks. Our new buddies. Our huh? new best friends. Huh? Y'all want to come into Greensboro and y'all want to try to attack my name? 
Well, Red Tide is the thing too finally of that. You're dealing with the it boys. You're dealing with the oh, it team. Oh, Red Tide is. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't walk. I can't walk. Yeah, bitch has got a death. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, okay.